Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to part three of my small RC trailer build. On this video, we'll just be doing the fenders and finishing up the tongue with this little gooseneck tongue that I have started to put together. Not 100% done yet, but we'll get it done in this video. So let's just start with the fenders. As you can see, I've already pre uh, done one of the fenders already. It fits on here quite nicely, something like this. So I think that should look fairly good. I've got the material that I've made the fenders out of here. I would have liked to make them a little bit longer down this way. However, the material just isn't quite big enough. Anyways, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get this marked at mark and cut out and then I'll just show you the process of bending to get this and we'll go from there back in a sec. All right. So I got the piece of metal cut out and I've got the first bend in it plus two little cuts. So that's a good order to do it in. If you try to bend it before you put the two cuts in, then unless you have a wide vise or something that can grab all of it at once, it's really hard to bend. So if you do, so cutting it does make it quite a bit easier to bend, especially if you only have a narrow vise like I have. So once I get to this stage, the next thing I would do is cut out a little notch on both sides. So that way we can start to bend it down just like I did on this. So you just want to either measure this with a protractor or something so you know the exact angles that you're going for. Well, it's just, that's the best way to do it. Or you can just guess and cut very small amounts at a time and hope you don't overdo it, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, which is not the best way to do it. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need to cut this. So once you've cut out your notches, then you can do the bend along here and here. I'm going to go head back to the vise and get those bent and see if we need to cut out any more. All right. So I did have to chop a little bit more out of there on each of them, but they now match up fairly close. You can see here. There we go. It's not a hundred percent perfect, but just for being hand bent without really measuring much, I think that came up pretty good. So one last thing to do on this is cut this flat here like I did on this one. All right. So I know the fenders look real rough right now and I do intend to paint them, but as it's winter, I can't paint them at the moment. So they're going to stay looking pretty rough until it's springtime and I'm able to paint them. All right, I'll go work on seeing about getting these mounted. So I got the fenders on. They're definitely not quite as symmetrical as I would like, but I'm kind of okay with that at the same time. And as I just said earlier, I'm definitely going to paint them, but that will have to wait until spring. This really doesn't look good how it's all worn away there, but nothing I can do at the moment. I guess it's time to work on the gooseneck part. You can see my little reinforcing job there to keep it from bending. And that's what this tab is here to do too. So it's not just held down by that. I think I'm, I'm not sure if I should cut it down shorter or not. All right. So I decided I'd cut it back just a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this mounted here. All right. So I got everything put together. Here's the finished trailer. Other than the problems with the, uh, Fender's not looking quite the same. Overall, I'm quite happy with how this came out. And even considering the fenders, I'm still quite happy with how this has come out so far. Seems to work quite well. The reason I went with the gooseneck is the vehicle that will be pulling it is a little bit taller than the original tongue would have allowed me to use. Let me just grab it here. So as you can see here, if I went with the original tongue, it would be way down here somewhere. So this puts it right up by the bumper. So that should be good. I hope you guys have enjoyed this small RC trailer build. I hope you guys have picked up some useful information from it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them below. If you'd like to see more comment, uh, content like this, make sure to subscribe and click the bell. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.